Welcome to Travel Agent Tips. If you're just finding us now, what took you so long? But we're glad to have you. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Bill Coyle, and this series is all about helping travel agents create and operate their travel business. Our channel has tons of resources available for you, including our weekly talk show, KHM Today. So be sure to tune in for that because it's full of great resources. To our returning viewers, thank you so much and welcome back. We're glad to have you. Now let's get into the good stuff. Charging fees for your travel business. What are they? How do you do it? And what do you need to know? So one of the big questions in our industry is why charge fees? If you're new to the industry, one of the most confusing things about our industry is how do travel agents get paid? I still get asked it and I've been doing this for 35 years. Bill, how do you get paid? And it's very simple, right? The idea is once you're booked and once you've traveled, I get my money from the supplier. That means when you book a trip for a client and then they travel, there's going to be subsequent commission coming your way. So that's really how we work. We earn commission. That's the way that we make money. But the question becomes is, what if they don't travel? What if there's a lot of issues in between booking and travel? How do we get to that point of trying to earn money when we don't have travelers? So that's why we talk about a fee, right? It's not just for experienced agents who know a lot about the travel industry, it's for new agents who are starting their business and wanna consider a steady stream of income when we have clients who may not travel. So remember, as an independent contractor, travel agent, it's your business and you choose how to run your business. If you want a fee, you can fee. If you don't, that's fine and up to you. But there are several reasons to consider charging the fee, right? The idea that it shows your value and expertise. There's also the clients who cancel and guess what happens when they cancel? No income is coming in, right? So we don't have that income unless we start to implement a fee. And then as seasoned travel agents, we experience ups and downs in the travel industry when it comes to planning that trip and putting so much into it, right? You're doing all the research for it. That's your time. Time is money. Let's consider charging a fee for that. And then sometimes there's those customers who aren't necessarily clients yet who are just kicking tires and ultimately get that information from you and then book on their own. At least you would have had a fee involved if you implemented one. And then, of course, there's legal considerations to think about when implementing a fee, and we're going to touch on that a little bit later. There are many different types of fees that you can consider implementing, right? The general service fee, which is just a flat fee that you're going to have um, provided to your customer either prior to or just after the quote process, right? Or it could be that you're charging a fee to get to that process when it comes to the qualification process. And then there's a planning fee, right? Maybe it's a planning fee that says, this is a larger group, I'm gonna have a planning fee for that. Or it's a more intricate um, itinerary that you're gonna have for Europe, right? Or Alaska or Hawaii or some of these other destinations that require a lot more of your time and a lot more of your research because agents research, 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 right? So is there a planning fee for that? What does that look like? And then there's the ultimate change fee, right? It's the idea that says, sorry, we need to change our dates. We need to completely change our month. We need to change everything about this trip. Oh my goodness, where do I start? What do I do? That takes a lot more of your time. So you might want to consider a change fee. And then there's the cancellation fee, right? Customers get a hold of you and say, I know that we're booked to go, whether they're under deposit or final payment. And guess what? They're canceling altogether. Oh my goodness, now guess what? No commission is coming in because remember, we as travel agents do not commission until the travel has commenced. So we've got to think about a cancellation fee as one of our options as well. Pick and choose what works for you. Maybe pick one to start. I just want to address the idea of does Bill charge a fee? Um, I've been in the industry 35 years. I've been a travel agent for 32 of those years. And um, the question often comes up from my colleagues, Bill, do you charge a fee? I've served on panels um, where I've tried to convince agents that they should be charging fees. Um, Bill has not implemented a fee yet. And I'm working on that. And it's, it's just something that I struggle with a little bit. New customers come in and say, so can you just tell me what your fee is? I'm like, oh yeah, no, don't worry about that. I don't have a fee. And then it becomes a little awkward because I think they're expecting to pay a fee. So I've struggled with it. I should probably think about implementing it, but um, I would pick the fee to sit down with me and speak to me and get my advice on it. It's, it's because 
the initial advice that I'm giving you or giving that customer is pretty darn valuable, right? It's, I tend to blurt things out, right? Because I already know what I think is best for you. So you take that from there. You're paying me the fee, whether I do the booking for you or not. I think that that's how I would handle it. So do I encourage agents who are experienced and new to charge a fee? Absolutely. I think it's very, very important that you start off on that, on that foot and not have to worry about it down the road. So that's kind of my rendition on where Bill Coyle stands with charging fees right now. So now it's the idea and the anxiety of implementing the fees and communicating that fees to your client, right? The transparency is the huge part about this, right? We have to be transparent. It can't be a surprise to them because then we're gonna, they're gonna think we're shady. It has to be transparent, making sure the clients understand fully that there's going to be a fee and what those fees are. So from the minute they begin researching, do they know that there's ultimately gonna be a fee here? Put your policies everywhere, on your website if you have one, in your email signature, which is very, very important because they're definitely gonna see that. And on the form, so many of you have forms or you might wanna implement forms, spell it out, make sure that they understand it and have them sign off on it. That's gonna be the critical thing because depending on how they're paying you, you're not gonna to wanna to charge back on that, right? You're gonna to wanna to make sure that they know that they're paying for a fee and they agree to it. Holy cow, that was pretty serious. Okay, and then of course with social media, you may want to make sure that they understand that. It could be in your about section or in any language that you're going to cut and paste from your website. If you're already an established travel agency and you want to start charging fees, then you need to make sure your current customers know that this is coming. Sometimes I recommend to our agents to say, let's send out a survey just to have buy-in from our current customers, right? Maybe letting them know that you're considering it, how much do they feel is a good value for you. That depends. Maybe you don't want to go that route. You're just going to announce it, but make sure you're transparent to your existing customers and any new potential customers. Consider making phone calls to explain it, right? Sometimes when they hear it in your voice, it's better than a message via email or social media or a text because they want to know why. That's it. They're going to discern whether they want to continue to work with you, but at least explaining why is going to be very, very important. But always remember your value. You've done the research. You've got the certification. You're the one who knows everything about what they expect you to deliver to them, right? So that's why they're coming to you because we're knowledgeable expert in doing the research for them to make all of their trip go smoothly and be there when they need us if something goes wrong. That's worth a fee alone. And just keep in mind that these fees, no matter what it's going to be, especially a cancellation fees, have to be separate than whatever the supplier fees may be. Airlines may have a fee, cruise lines may have a fee, tour companies may have a fee. Your fee is completely separate. So as long as we're transparent about that and they know that they're gonna pay it, you're in good shape. So let's talk about the legal part of travel agent fees. Depending on your business type and where you reside, you may have different laws that you need to follow. And there's also the idea of the seller of travel rules, which you'll need to understand based on those states that might have that. So be sure to check those websites, speak to someone who may understand those laws and help you interpret them. If you have a host agency like KHM Travel Group, we can help you implement those fees and understand them and understand the legal part of them as well. We truly appreciate your time for watching. Uh, please comment below what travel agent tips you want to hear from us in the future and be on the lookout for polls that we're going to send on future topics. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.